Hello there everybody, Embrix here with another LEGO set. This is set number 7079, Ravenger Attack from the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Guardians of the Galaxy. This was from 2017. Let's start with the Ravenger ship itself because I was so surprised. I've seen two reviews of this set and I've looked at the box and pictures a bunch. I never got how big this was. This is the recent Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown set, which I did review. <laughs> it goes up two and a half stories, or floors, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, it's, it's big compared to a modular building, two floors. Quickie Mart, even higher than the Quickie Mart roof. It's just really, like, it's really long. I didn't expect that from, um, Side to side at least it is very very long just gonna move a bit of terrain out of the way, but Yeah, we've already started with this and hmm, I, I just want to show you guys the size because I really didn't get it hmm. In my hands. Yeah, it goes out the full length of my hands and Even longer these extend even more even um comparing it to a figure. I Just don't think I ever got how how long it was here. Maybe this way then you can get some scale. See, I even have to zoom out. This this thing is massive <laughs> compared to a figure. I just I just really want to emphasize on that because I don't think other viewers really did. Maybe you guys don't think that it's such a big deal. Maybe the only reason I think that it actually is a big deal is because I didn't realize it. Another thing though that also surprised me was the colors. Like on the box, in reviews, uh, this was more of a throwaway build to me, but in person, I really like what I see. The colors work so well, the red and black, like... I don't know, every time I imagined this, I imagined it with a lot of orange. It just looked orange to me. I, I don't know why, even at the box, but now that I see it in hand, I see it's red, I even see that on the box now, and in... Well, I haven't watched reviews, obviously, because I already own it now, but... Yeah, this, uh, I just wanted to get those quick thoughts there, but... This is a Ravenger ship for Taser Face, where James Gunn promised he'd never use him, but he still did. But anyway, uh, it can fire off with four extra official studs. You push on this, and that thing will go flying out. Hmm. So yeah, landed there. And there's one on that side. They all work the same way, except the two down here. They also work the same way, except they can be articulated a bit like that. I like that sticker used up there. Only three stickers in this set. Thankfully, thankfully. Yes, thank you, Lego. Only three stickers, but you see, it kind of looks like a bird from here. The wings, the beak, um, the head or whatever. It looks really nice in my opinion. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I love the color scheme again. You got the two kind of turbine engines, and that is a sticker with some kind of bronze coloring to it. And that actually has just... Um, it's the Ravenger logo, and here's the back. You got a bit of engine and nice of clip to hold a, an accessory. This is from the set as well, though it kind of doesn't fit because it was made to fit with that smaller gun. But you know, I have gotten it into points where like I can sometimes fit it on, but it's just overall it's kind of difficult to fit this on. Let's try one more time. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be yeah this way. Hmm, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to cut it because I want to show you. There, see, it can it can do that. That works, in my opinion, that works. And this is just an extra gun then. And then it gets the boosters, these nice usage of pieces down here. So, yeah, I just not what I expected, but not in a bad way, in, in a good way, not what I expected. But um, we also have the side build. Hmm, it's, it's nice, actually. You got that uh, tree that looks pretty good. Uh, you can, like, have Rocket... Uh, jumping in the tree, swinging from the vines or whatever. You have a piece of the Milano right there because it, uh, I think this was in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. It crashed, and it's a really old movie. Or not old, but like two years now. But another sticker there, so those are the three stickers. And then you have a six stud shooters. You turn this, and they'll fire off. And if you turn it um, all the way, obviously they will all fire off, and it can be articulated a bit or easily. Well, not so easily, but pulled off. But when you do that, you know, you knock some other things over. But that's the tree build, and this can be taken off and used as its own separate thing. So that is pretty nice. 
Another thing that is nice are the figures. I mean, another thing on top of that is the built-up gun for Taserface. This thing is huge, and when he holds it, you can kind of get the picture right there. It does have another one of those stud shooters, a little uh, kind of scope, though, you know, you can't do that while he's holding it. And yeah, nice, long, and built up. Good job on LEGO for that, but does anyone think Iron Man 3 Mandarin when you see that beard and that <laughs> hair piece right there? Because I think if you ever wanted to make a custom Mandarin, those would be perfect. But yeah, um, actually, I don't like those too much because it covers all this great print. I just never expected um, the print here to be that good. You got some bronze there when the light hits it. It really reflects nicely. And it just, it's so detailed. You could easily use that for like a young Peter Quill. The face print looks pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, it looks more or less um, like something from Ninjago. <clears throat> I'm not saying anyone copied, but again, just f good um, printing all around this figure, good built up weapon and good hair pieces. So yeah, I love this figure. Here is Rocket Raccoon, who came in another $20 set last year, Thor's Weapon Crutch, which I did review for Avengers Infinity War. He has two guns, that one right there, which is, again, thanks uh, for building it up, Lego, instead of just uh, including dumb uh, stud shooters. But uh, there's a torso print. Um, it's different from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, the face is printed and instead of kind of sticking out. You got the tail piece, you can see the back torso print, and this... Uh, Pops up. It's in like hard plastic, thankfully. I can't really get it out right now. But yeah, um, the tail is in rubber, but the the um, what well, the head itself is attached to the shoulders, and that is in um a hard um plastic material. Good that it's not a rubber. And here is the final figure and the main uh, draw for me for to get the set because it's like it was a Mantis and she's only found in the set and I do want to collect all the Guardians of the Galaxy. No leg printing, I think that is fine. That hair piece is rubber. Also, I think it's fine. Uh, she got those little antennae so that she doesn't get uh, decapitated um, when she walks through doorways. Um, that that face print is pretty good, but again, it's rubber, so it's kind of hard to pull off. Like. I'm really struggling with it, but once you put it on, look at that torso print. That is so great, and the depth there really looks inside, in, uh, inside, <laughs> insect like as it should. And you can see the angry face right there, maybe when she's using her powers a bit sideways. See how this face is straight, but then that one is um, a bit angled to the side. But yeah, that's it for this great figure. So overall, this was a great deal for $20. All the taser face related stuff uh, surprised me. Taser ship. Uh, faces kind of ship the figure itself rocket is uh, uh, it would have been nice to get a different version in Avengers Infinity War sets but or you know something different there but um, Antis only in this set uh, not that popular but you know I needed her I like the box art there and there the figures um, I like this box art more though like I love Lego vacations especially for the Lego superhero sets they just do such a great job but yeah, that is it for this video, and I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.